The Brawler class is live on Bulwark in the first ever beta build. And in this video, I'm just gonna go over Blue Line Brawler, go over the traits, go over the skills, and hopefully give people a general idea of how Blue Line Brawler is gonna function. Keep in mind that this is the very first beta build that they've done, and everything is still subject to change. Before looking at all the skills, I have all the base skills in Blue Line on my bars. Just want to mention that there's three types of attacks that the brawlers have that are called balanced attacks, heavy attacks, as well as quick attacks. Those attacks come into play during some of the uh, traits. Looking at the skills themselves, I'm going to try to explain them as simply as I can without going into super much detail. On my 1, 2, 3, I have the Metal Builders. Metal, much like Champion and Hunter, who build Focus and Fervor. Brawler builds Metal to use some of their skills. So each of the Metal Builders builds one Metal right now. Using these skills, we'll build Metal by one. You also have Quick Faint. That will give you a damage buff, but also add 3 to Metal. And you have Flex, gives a damage buff and regens metal over time. And you also have a skill called Raw Fury to give you a 10 second window where your setup skills do more damage. By setup skills, they're talking about Low Strike, Dexter's Hook, and Sinister Cross, which are your metal builders, also called setup skills. You also have a buff. That applies to the Fellowship within 5 meters, attack duration, 30 second duration, 1 minute cooldown, pretty strong, 50% uptime on minus 20% attack duration. Now to put the Brawler gameplay really simply, you build metal with your setup skills and your quick metal building skills, and then you use your attacks, quick attacks, heavy attacks, and balanced attacks. Right now on beta, all these skills cost 3 metal to use, but these values can change in future builds. Like I said before, we have 1 balance attack, 2 heavy attacks, and right now 5 quick attacks. I have all the quick attacks in one row here. You have an AoE attack, backhand clout, you have vicious knee, single target attack, you have Helm Crusher, which also gives a stun. Then you have your basic Corruption Removal that deals damage. You have your Interrupt. On the next bar, we have the two heavy attacks, which is Strike Towards the Sky, as well as Mighty Upheaval. And at the top, we find our only balance skill so far, Overhand Smash. So the basic idea of the Brawler, Build Metal, spend metal on your skills. Now on the right we have a couple of more skills. You have Earl Object, which basically is your simple range skill, throwing cup at the enemies. You have an a taunt, your AoE taunt. Right now it's three targets with a seven meter radius. Don't come at me. At the top we have our basic breakout skill, slip free, and we have our basic removal skill, shrug it off. And finally we have three cooldowns, first one is called one for all, you stand next to allies when using this, you and your allies can get up to 10% physical and tactical mitigations for a short while, I believe it's 30 seconds. If you're using this skill, make sure you're standing next to your fellowship members or allies. And the next two skills are called Weather Blows and Iron Will. They're pretty similar as their function is kind of like a Shield of Dunedain from Captain on yourself. And as we go deeper into Blue Line, they're going to be more powerful than right now. Having shown all the skills, we're now ready to go into the trait lines. 
And it's important to note that trading blue line gives you plus 5% physical mitigation and 10% base maximum morale. So in the trades, I'm just going to go through all the blue line trades and also look at yellow line for some stuff that might be good for a tank. At the top left, we have a vitality increase. Vitality is always nice to have. We have a skill on the next line called Brash Invitation. This is the brother's single target taunt. I'm going to apply it to get that skill. We now have our single target taunt and our AoE taunt. On the next line, Brash Invitation Attack Speed Debuff. This makes your single target taunt debuff the attack speed of your target that you taunt. On the next line, we have Parry, 5% parry chance. And we have Brash Invitation Cooldown, 5 seconds. Makes your single target taunt 10 seconds, just like any other tank has. On the next line, we have Retaliatory Intensity. When you evade an attack, you will earn a critical rating. I don't know how useful this is for tanking. But that is what we have. So if you evade an attack, you get a critical rating buff for 30 seconds. Next up, we have another skill called Brazen Guard. I'm gonna earn that skill. It is a cooldown. One minute, 30 second cooldown. And after using this skill, you have a 15 second window where attacks on you will tear up an incoming healing buff on yourself. Next up, Clever Faint. Faint gets an evade bonus. Pretty sure that means Quick Faint will get an evade bonus. Every time you use Quick Faint, you get 5% evade. And that is true, for 10 seconds you get 5% evade. On the next line, Retaliatory Precision. When you parry as a brawler, you gain a finesse buff. So the same as Intensity. Evading and parrying gives you stats. Bracing Guard Healing Improved. Basically makes the Bracing Guard incoming healing buff stronger. You have Defensive Posture, which is a skill. And it's actually a toggle skill. And this should be used by every brawler tank. It's pretty much by sacrificing some physical mastery, you gain minus 10% incoming damage. Really big and strong skill. Next up, we have draw a line in the sand, another skill. Using this skill, it's another cooldown. It creates a hot spot on the ground, and as long as you stand in this, uh, ignore the fireworks. That's currently a bug on beta. <laughs> when you earn a bonus medal, the fireworks will start. Basically, standing in this will earn you metal and a buff of mitigations. So, pretty strong, pop this, stand in this, get buffed. Next up, we have Enhanced Guard. This increases the potency of both your... I just call them your shields. Pretty much makes Weather Blows and Iron Will stronger. I need to step out of this. So the fireworks can stop. Weather Blows and Iron Will will get stronger with this. They're also stronger if you use them with max metal. And finally we have the capstone skills of blue line. First one is gut punch. Another skill to earn. You just hit your enemy with gut punch. They deal minus 5% damage. And another toggle skill called metal shield. But this one's pretty interesting. It functions like defensive posture, so popping this you'll have minus 20% incoming damage. But every time you get hit, 
it consumes two metal. So it's stronger with the less enemies that are hitting you. But being able to keep both of these active seems really powerful. So it's a really interesting mechanic. So now we earned a few more skills. Check Gut Punch is a balanced skill. That would join the smash. I don't think we earned any other types of attacks. I'm gonna keep this open because this comes into play when we look at the set bonuses. Starting at the top, we have innate strength. Both blue line and red line have three different innate strengths. And these innate strength buffs can tier up to tier four. As you can see, this is the mitigation one, and this is tied to the heavy attacks, meaning strike towards the sky and mighty upheaval. So using these skills, we'll refresh this buff and tier up this buff. The big part of Brawler seems to be maintaining these buffs. If you're able to keep using your heavy attacks, this buff will stay on you. 2.5% mitigations is pretty strong. And I believe Sinister Cross, this is your last spender before using a heavy attack. It's going to tier up two tiers instead of one if this is already active on the target. So an idea would be to use Strike Towards the Sky to get Tier 1. Then you would use Sinister Cross, Mighty Upheaval to get Tier 3. And then use Strike Towards the Sky again when it comes off cooldown to get Tier 4. That's one way to do it. Just my initial thoughts of how to tier up quickly. Next type bonus, Bellicose. Fresh Invitation and Come At Me generates 3 metal, and these are your taunts. That means to keep your metal, you should just be spamming your taunts, kind of, as a, a brawler. Next up, we have the second innate strength. This is maintained by using the balanced attacks, which will be Overhand Smash and Gut Punch. And this buff is parry chance, up to 10% chance, so this might also be good to maintain. Next set bonus, Eager Challenger, come at me cooldown, reduced by 30 seconds. Makes your AOE taunt 30 seconds like every other tank. And your final innate strength is maintained by all the quick attacks. But it's threat generated. I don't know how useful this is, since you can kind of rely on your taunts. We have Strong Jaw and Nimble Feet. Reduces the cooldown of your Break Free skill. And also makes your Iron Will cooldown give you immunity for 6 seconds for all CC after you use it. And the final set bonus is going to be Iron Will grants additional tactical mitigation. But that's not decided yet how much you can probably guess that's going to be like five or ten percent make your iron wheel cooldown even stronger and it's a cool animation iron wheel my favorite animation of the brawler that's pretty much blue line i just want to look at yellow line real quick see if there's anything useful you have battle wise makes your setup skills have ch more chance to generate more metal that could be pretty useful. AoE targets if you need that. This I believe is going to be more for Red Brawler. Get the incoming damage buff. Having a higher chance to apply. You have some evade chance you can get. It's pretty good. You have tactical mitigation. Good for tanks. You can increase the duration but once again probably going to be a red line thing. Strike as one is a really strong damage buff for you or your fellowship. You can also increase the damage on the buff, but that's also probably going to be a red line brawler thing. 
You can make Quick Faint restore an additional 3 metal, so Quick Faint would then give 6. Pretty good for tanks. These three skills appear to share the innate strength of the red line, innate strength, not the blue line. That's going to be something you do in red line. And you have well fed and trail food boost. Brawlers gain more of a strength from food than other classes. I feel like that's going to be a swappy line. We just swap to whatever build and you eat your food and then swap to your main build. And finally, the capstones in yellow. Fission Strikes is a skill you can earn. 5 minute cooldown, but for 20 seconds, all your metal spending skills cost one less metal. And your other capstone in yellow is Hasten Powerful Techniques. Pretty much makes setup attacks reduce the active cooldowns on several skills to come back faster. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to go into redline too deeply. I'm planning on making a redline video as well. The blue line brawler seems to have some interesting mechanics. They have some really strong cooldowns and it's going to be interesting to see the finalized brawler and to see how they compare to Guardian and Captain Tanks. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord, and I'll see you in the next one.